as you might recall, this feeder was full the last time that we talked. It takes those little monsters about two to three days tops to completely drain it. You know, sometimes I will get comments on the videos, people asking, you know, Rodney, how is it you're out there in sub-zero temperatures without like a jacket or your sleeves pulled down and what have you? And I can, I can appreciate where that's coming from. Like right now it's minus eight degrees Celsius. And this probably looks bizarre. I've just always been a really warm blooded creature. When I was really young, my mother would send me to school with a jacket, two jackets, usually like an inner jacket, an outer jacket, hats, mitts, scarves, you name it. I was like dressed to the nines. And, hmm. Okay, my thinking was that this funnel was gonna help me not spill the seed so much, but it's kind of just a nuisance. So yeah, I would be all bundled up going to school and I was just dying of heat. So as soon as I was around the corner where my mother couldn't see me, I would then take everything off and just put it in my backpack and walk to school in a shirt and jeans. The thing is, this works in reverse too, because when I go somewhere really warm, I overheat. While everyone else is sort of comfortable, I'm like dying, I'm melting. So, you know, like any superpower, I have a super weakness too, right? All right, well, I think that should satisfy our feathered friends for another 48 hours or so. And just so it's clear, in the same way that this is not a cat vlog, this also isn't gonna be a bird vlog either. Hey, did you hear that? I think I hear some uh, geese down by the river. And I know what I just said, but I, I wanna go check this out. It's quite difficult to be stealthy on the snow. It's very crunchy, but I found a patch of ice here to walk along. I'm trying to get close to some geese that are over on my neighbor's side. Hopefully they don't think I am stalking them with my camera. Just the geese. Hear all that honking? They're warning each other. They're quite sensitive, aren't they? I, I'm pretty far from them, but when I get closer, when they sense another presence, they tend to take off. There's still some there though. Oh look, there's an eagle going. I, I know there's nests around here with eagles, but since the winter, I haven't seen any of them. There's like two or three in this area. Wow. And off they go. And just to make doubly clear, this is not a bird vlog. All right, so my cousin is coming to stay with us for a couple of days, and I'm excited about that. And I don't know about you, but anytime someone's coming over for a visit, it's a real motivator to tidy things up. And I'm, I'm a bit of a neat freak anyway, but I definitely get things up a notch when someone's coming over. I'm particularly pleased though, with this room over here where she's staying. This is Andrea's room. I don't know if you remember from a previous vlog, the state of things when she was staying here with us before she went to Florida to work. Do you remember that? No, why what? it was messy? What is going on no. in here? <laughs> what is happening? But now, now, let me introduce to you the new version of that room. Huh? Huh? What are you doing in here? <laughs> I didn't know he was in here. Hi, Elvis. Yeah, so, look, I'm kind of proud of this. Just very orderly. And look, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the kind of person who likes to scrub and do a deep clean, but I do like everything kind of in its place and orderly. I think I got that inclination to sort of be tidy and orderly from my mother. You know, I was assigned daily chores. Clean up this area of the house, clean up that area of the house. In fact, she had something similar to, yeah, one of these, like a little recipe box. And in there, it would have little dividers, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then 
the numbers one through 31 for a month. So every week there'd be like weekly chores. And then there'd also be certain chores that you did on certain days of the month. And I hated it. And I remember the first time that they left me home alone because they went on a business trip. And oh, it was heavenly. I, I remember getting home from school, like taking my jacket off, just throwing it on the ground, backpack, throwing it across the room. <laughs> like everything I did, I left where I found it. I didn't wash any dishes. I didn't do any laundry. That was, in short order, was a mess pretty quickly. And that lasted about 48 hours. And then I looked around that pigsty and I couldn't stand it. I was like, this is not where this stuff goes. <laughs> I started walking around, cleaning everything, putting things back, organizing, tidying. You know what happened? It worked, what she had done. She got under my skin, she got into my wiring. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I, I do kind of prefer things where they belong rather than just kind of everywhere. And you know what? I'm happy for it. I'm, I'm glad that that's something that she passed on to me because I like living in a space that's reasonably organized. It makes me feel a little bit more at peace, I guess. And I know not everyone needs that, but for me, it's a, it's a, it's a calming thing. So anyway, all of that to say, uh, my cousin, Melissa, is coming to visit today. One of the things I was asked about in the comments of the last vlog was how the efforts with working out and reading more was coming along because I'd kind of made a personal commitment to myself to try to exercise regularly and also try to read more regularly. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. First of all, the good news, I haven't quit on the workout. This is my chart showing my progress on the 22 minute hardcore workout program. This is uh, Harvey, by the way. Uh, our budgie, we've had Harvey for a number of years. He's not often in the vlogs because he makes a fair bit of noise. And so I tend to not have him around when I'm recording. We'll see how he does here. Anyway, yes, so this is, so yes, this is my, so yes, this is my progress. So yes, this is my progress on the, tw so yeah, the 22 minute hardcore has been going quite well. All these X's are days where I did my exercises. The reading, unfortunately, I did that good for a couple of days and it just completely stopped. I think the problem was I was trying to set a reading time early in the morning and when I wake up, I wake up pretty early, it's not a good time for me to sit down and try to absorb information. So I think what I have to do is sort of push that to later in the day and I think that will improve it. But hey, like a lot of things, when you're trying to improve something in your life, it's kind of a work in progress. The important thing is to stick with it, keep at it, and, and not give up. And I'm not, I'm not gonna give up, I just have to sort of reorganize how I'm trying to accomplish that. And again, to be very, very clear, this is not turning into a bird vlog. You remember what I was saying earlier about just wanting to keep things relatively neat and tidy, especially with company coming over. Well, I uh, dropped the kitty litter box. So that all clean, freshly cleaned box all over the floor. I'm gonna need a moment. I have a theory about where some of that bird seed might actually be going. Let's take a look. Squirrel. Caught in the act too. Tried to run off. Running up the tree. I see you. And I know you're staying in the shed too. Not fooling anybody. Little scamp. That's where some of that bird seed's going. I'll say he's not very shy. You enjoying your, your snack here? Huh? You like living in my shed? Yeah. And well, Enjoy yourself, I guess. Not gonna be a squirrel vlog either, by the way. All right, look, maybe, maybe this one episode is a bird vlog with a squirrel guest appearance. All right, I'll, I'll concede that this time. So my cousin who's coming to visit, Melissa, she should be here any minute now. And I, I, I'm getting kind of excited, I have to admit. Uh, Melissa has always been special to me because I was born, I was the third child of three. And there's 16 years between me and my brother. So I was a surprise, I came a little later. And all of my cousins, most of them, are older than me. 
And I never really felt close or connected to them in the same way they did to Melissa because, well, she's younger than me, but we were, we were closer in age. And that's always made our relationship kind of special in that way. I actually have a couple pictures of us uh, here together. This one here, I'm helping her zip her up a zipper. And here I am uh, tying up one of her shoes, I guess. I had all those useful older cousin skills with zippers and buckles. <laughs> anyway, she should be here any second. So I should probably wrap this up here so I can catch up with her when she arrives. Though if she gets here in the next few seconds, maybe I can just quickly introduce you and then I'll, I'll see you in the next vlog, all right? She's here, my cousin's here. I'm sorry to hit you with a camera right away. Okay. <laughs> I'm just excited to see you. I wasn't standing by the door or anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, you were lying like about ice. I oh know, my god. it's very it's treacherous. Like I may I may live here now. So. You may. Yeah. Uh we we did like you know, this is kitty litter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That we threw down to get someone out the other day. Oh my god, so, that's too yeah, funny. It, it happens. <sighs> As you can tell, I hate cats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, you are the reason we have a cat. I don't know if I've ever said this out loud yeah. before, but when I visited you last time, is that like an Easter? That was almost a year ago. A year ago, yeah. right. You have like 17 cats. Yeah, or, or three, but or three. 17 it's or three, same, same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So many cats, and what I couldn't believe was your furniture wasn't all ripped to shreds. Nope. There wasn't an odor in the home. Nope. And I was like, oh, I've always used those as my excuses to not get a cat. And I know my family <laughs> wants to get a cat. This seems kind of manageable. Yeah. And I left your place going, I think it could maybe work. <laughs> It's your fault. So I have one thing to say. Yes. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> um, there's the siskin, I think. He just was down and then he flew away. So there's the two chickadees. And there's, yeah, it's chickadee frenzy. Um, more chickadee. She knows all the birds. I, don't, I, I had no idea. <laughs> it's been, I'm going to stay here the whole time. So, I can't believe yeah. this. Okay. So it's, been, it's been fun. <laughs>